wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best LED grow lights. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10, the Galaxy Hydro COB800 has 90 degree reflective cups for a higher light gathering effect and can easily be daisy chained together to run multiple lights in sync. The underlight temperature is lower than 118.4 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the fan is a bit loud and it's not as strong as other 800 watt LEDs. At number 9, the Dowtronics 80 is perfect for sensitive seedlings and clones, giving them just enough light without risking burning the leaves, and offers a 90% energy savings over metal halide. It's great for rooms with no heat air vents, and is small enough to fit in tight spaces, but it is too weak for flowering or large plants. Coming in at number 8 on our list, the Black Star Chrome 270 offers a full spectrum range including infrared and ultraviolet for healthier plants. It comes with a one-year all-inclusive warranty and has a 2 foot by 3 foot coverage area. This one's recommended for experienced growers and operates 30 degrees cooler than previous models. A lens system pushes light past the canopy. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easybid.com and search for LED grow lights or click beneath this video. At number 7, the Mars Hydro 480 is a good choice for those wanting to test out LED growing with just 3 or 4 plants and don't want to shell out big bucks in the process. It's a sturdy construction that shouldn't break and offers a 90 or 120 degree mixed LED view angle. The company has outstanding customer service. Moving up our list to number 6, the Apollo Haunty Culture 1200 has 245 watt LEDs which draw only 600 watts while pushing out 1200 watts to help you save on your energy bill without sacrificing yields. It includes steel hanging clips and can be placed very close to the canopy. It produces only minimal heat. Halfway up our list at number 5, change between vegetable or flower options with the flip of a switch using the advanced Platinum P600. It has one of the highest par lumen outputs per watt, giving you huge yields. It features super quiet cooling fans and upgraded aluminum cooling heat sinks. It can replace an 800 watt HPS grow light. At number 4, the Kind K5 is one of the few brand name 1000 watt LEDs you can find on the market. It features digital spectrum control so you can fine tune the light for every grow stage. It has a mix of 3 watt and 5 watt diodes and is dimmable for sensitive clones. It also includes 8 fully customizable time stages. Nearing the top of our list at number 3, the G8 LED 450 has a 6 foot power cord giving you more placement options and offers an 8 band wavelength ratio for optimal growing, plus added infrared and ultraviolet light. This one's engineered for the blooming stage and works on either 110 volts or 240 volts. It's rated for 50,000 hours of use. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easyvid.com and search for LED grow lights or click beneath this video. At number 2, it's rare to find an affordable LED grow light strong enough to grow a plant with large yields, but the HAG300 somehow manages the job. It's not for multiple plants though. It features lots of red and blue light spectrum and comes with four cooling fans and pre-attached hanging holes. And coming in at number one on our list, the California Lightworks SolarStorm 880 is made with 176 powerful 5 watt diodes with high photosynthetic photon flux to penetrate deeper into the canopy. It has a uniform 4x4 four four foot coverage area, two built-in 15 watt UVB T8 tubes and you can switch the spectrum from grow to bloom. To see all this stuff, go to wiki.easyvid.com and search for LED grow lights or click beneath this video.